Alright, so we'll come back to my challenge day 8. So, it's Lucas Kelly question. Flatten last listed air terrazzo. So, you are given a nested list of integers nested list. Each element is either an integer or a list whose elements may also be integers or other lists. Implement or an iterator to flatten it. So the iterator class, the next iterator class should have initialize iterator with the nested list. Int next will return the next integer in the nested list. Boolean has next, so return true if there is still some integers. Otherwise, we return false. Okay, so your code will be tested with the following pseudo code initialize iterator with nested list result while iterator does have, has next. So we append iterator.next to the end of result. We return finally the result. Okay, so let's see how we can do this one. This is a helper function. So to solve this problem, let's flatten the nested list in our init. So let's see, in this case, we have one one we are just flattening this, this this list and it should be one one without any list then two then one one okay so let's do that let's we will use a queue we are append our elements in the queue so let's make solve the queue equal to the queue it will be a def s function that's a uh, next nested list now we check if our nested list is integer so if it is we are just appended in our queue So get integer. And we are returned. We are out of this function like now. Now let's see if our if it is not so if we, it is not integer, so we know it will be a list. So now let's check every element in our list. And let's call this function again, so recursive for this element. And we check now if this element is an integer, so if it is, we just append or we return. If not, we are, it will be a list inside a list, so we are doing this again. Okay, I hope this makes sense to you. Now let's make for nested list in our nested list. Let's call this function, and that is how this is how we can flatten our nested list. Now for uh, def next, we are just return self dot q dot pop left. So we are removing the left element, and before we are remo removing it, we are just returning it. And for the for the has next, let's just check. If there is still element in our queue, so this is this is mean the save dot the length of cell save dot queue it should be bigger than zero. Let's run the code. Okay, something wrong. Type of sec. The time complexity of the algorithm is just uh, it's just the the integers that we have in the input. So it is big O of n, and space complexity is also big O of n because we are doing recursive. Let's submit. So yeah, it's work. I hope this video was useful for you, and see you soon, hopefully.